in development, when you're a fetus, you develop for the first time. You grow into a human being, from a cell into a human being. Regeneration is a lot of the same processes of developing in the first place, but being regenerated means that you're turning it back on so that it is repairing itself. And that's, that's the whole point of how it's used to treat diseases, because many diseases are caused by cells in our body or organs that are sick or, or that are destroyed or that, that have problems. And so if we can make them regenerate the organ or the tissues or cell, we can cure the disease. Most of the treatments that we use today in medicine treat symptoms. So the person has a disease and the drug or the technology of the, that we apply as a treatment treat the symptoms of that disease. Something that's unique about regenerative medicine is it has the potential to cure the disease. It's not treat the symptoms. In other words, if you're treating the symptoms, you have to take that drug the rest of your life because to treat the symptoms. In regenerative medicine, the potential is, is that if we can go in and replace the sick cells with new cells, healthy cells, you no longer have the disease, so you, it's over. You don't have to take anything because literally for the first time in medicine, if regenerative medicine pans out all the potential it has, we could literally, for the first time, actually cure diseases as opposed to treating the symptoms.